Hello friends, once again I am back with this new video focusing on how to crack AFCAD 2019-2. I hope you all have applied for AFCAD 2019-2 and you might have started the preparation for this AFCAD examination. Friends, this time don't let things go underway. This time make sure that you are going to crack this examination in the first attempt or uh, those who are repeaters work hard towards your SSB. Those who have cleared all this examination, they already know the strategy of clearing it but somewhere maybe you might have gone wrong in PPTT or maybe you are not recommended in the SSB second stage. So here I am from today what you are going to do, how to prepare for this examination and how to crack it without even taking a stress on your uh, study purpose. Right. Friends, APCAT will be conducted in the last week of August so there is plenty of time and the syllabus is very easy. Though it is an online examination, the examination is conducted very easy for a graduate who is an average candidate. And the cutoff here, it decreases sometimes, maybe due, last time it was very low like 135 due to the rain in Orissa and all those places, Jammu Kashmir, there was problem. Fine, whatever the cutoff is, here we have to score more than 200 marks. I will tell you some tips and tricks how to score more than 200 marks so that you will definitely get into merit list. And this is one of the finest job for all the graduates. After the graduation they can find for in both core or their non-core or whatever jobs you are searching for. Friends, AFCAT will be conducted for 100 questions. The first part will be English, the rest part will be GK and Maths and the rest part will be Reasoning. For English, you have to focus on reading skills. There is a strategy of reading English. Try to read some books, basic books. It can be anything. It can be anything. If you are a beginner, keep in mind, if you are a beginner, you can start reading books of Chetan Bhagat so that you get, you start loving the English language. After that, you go and start reading newspapers, the Hindu, the editorial column. Otherwise, you take the Indian Express and which will help you in combined different service examinations, CAPF examinations and all others. Then, for English, the greatest challenge students face is that of synonyms and antonyms. What you are going to do is daily take 10 words and write the synonyms and antonyms. Make use that words in a sentence. Don't blindly learn it. This is not multiplication or division that you are going to multiply 2 and 2 is 4. Here, each word will have different meanings. And what happens in exam is, they will give you a word and 4 options. The problem with the candidate is, they don't know the question itself and the options are also totally confusing. So each option is something new to them. So how to crack this? Out of four questions in synonyms, what you do, at least one or two should be 100% correct. It is not like uh, four questions should be correct. What happens here is if a BA candidate is applying for this exam, for him synonyms and synonyms will be very easy. But for him the maths or the GK part or the reasoning part will be very tough. So the best way to crack synonyms and antonyms is Practice 10 to 10 questions of antonyms and synonyms. If you have any doubt from where to take or how to take, we will be giving you daily assignments. You have to uh, seriously do the daily assignments in our Telegram group. If you have not joined the Telegram group, please do join it. Just type Bangalore Defense Academy and we are going to give you assignments of 10 words each daily. You can crack it very easily. Then comes idioms and phrases. Definitely here, don't miss any idioms and phrases. You take CAPF examination, you take CDS examination, or you take AFCAT examination. Even INET is going to come, so there also they have idioms and phrases. You should not lose any marks here. Okay, there are some uh, peculiar idioms and phrases which are asked in this defense examination. You can easily score a very good mark here. Don't miss any marks here when it comes to English sections. And after that, comprehension passage will be very easy. Candidates nowadays, they feel very easy of cracking this English paper. Fine. Coming to the next section of this AFCAD, that is GK and Maths. Friends, Maths, you can target 15 questions very easily. Now, if you see the chapters covered in Maths or numerical ability, that is algebra, simplification, then you will have uh, time and work, time, distance, speed, boats and stream, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest in that way. Every two days you take a chapter. Today you take time and work. Work it on two days. Next day you take time distance speed. Work it for two days. Every two days you are going to take chapters. You are going to work on some level of types. 
take the easiest time. Don't directly go and solve the toughest time. You can refer any maths book. There is no special maths book or the aptitude book which can crack it. The thing is you have to be basic strong. Okay, how to solve if a question is asked. A and B can do a work or what is a percentage of uh, milk and water, something ratio and proportion. Just know the basic. What is milk? What is water? What is mixture and allegation? That's it. And what is the formula for converting meter per hour, meter per second into kilometer per hour? So that basics you make it strong. Then try to solve it daily basis. Hardly 10, 10, 20, 20 questions you do it. There are more than 40 to 45 days. So each day if you solve more than 20 questions, there are more than 100 to 200 questions and easily 15 questions can be solved. And one good thing with maths is that you can surely, uh, like, okay, you can surely just click the option what you get the answer. But when it comes to English, you may get option B, your friend may get option C, and the examiners may have option D in their mind. So that is a problem with this English and other subjects, GK subjects. But when it comes to maths, sure, shortly everyone will get the same answer. Maximum 98% students will get the same answer, and the answer will be matching with the examiner's opinion. Finals. So this is how 15 questions of your maths should be correct. Take daily 2-2 two -two chapters, easy level cha questions, then tougher level questions, medium level questions, that's it. Try to apply some logics and uh, just in telegram group we will give you all these assignments. It will be very helpful for you and we will be uploading videos also to motivate you to get, keep this preparation well. Okay friends, so next what I'm, I was telling you that when it comes to GK. GK part is very easy, but candidate find it very difficult to memorize all the facts and the dates. Now, for example, if I talk uh, sports, the sports related ask question here in AFCAT is nothing but Asian Games, Olympic Games, the recently going uh, going on World Cup, or maybe Wimbledon, something like that. So, friends, what you should keep in mind is that you have to focus on some international games and the international achievers from India. For example, PV Sindhu question was asked in some last APCAT two years back, they, were, they had asked, PV Sindhu had won silver medal in badminton against whom, against whom, that was the question. We all knew PV Sindhu is a badminton champion, but against whom she had, they have asked. So, national and international sports, maximum Asian games they are going to ask, and one question definitely is on the words on sports. Okay, uh, volleyball was the sports focus last time. So, the terms related to the sports will be asked. Okay, so there is a list of sports and list, list of words there. And this also we are going to have a quiz competition in the telegram group. And this will be really beneficial. Just before the exam dates, we have a group discussion with our students. You can also join it. Now, so this is sports. When it comes to history, ancient history, one question is the Alexander invasion or some battles like something like that, then Chandragupta Maurya, then books and authors, uh, ancient books and authors, then it comes to medieval history, what are the names of some kings and the queens or what are the ranks of some, some military officers in the administrations of the Mughal emperors or the Lodi dynasty. So this is medieval history you should focus. One question on the modern history and what is this modern history question is that you have to know the chronology. Chronology means like when did Gandhiji come to India? That is 1915. When did Chauri Chaura incident happen? When did August offer come uh, happen? When did Simon Commission come to India? So these are the types of questions asked in AFCAT, the direct questions. When it comes to CDS and CAPF, they are going to ask you why Simon Commission comes to India. But in AFCAT, they are going to ask how many members were there, which year did they come, something like that. So friends, this is the way you are going to focus the preparation. Okay, there are lot of books in markets in Amazon and everywhere and there are a lot of flooding things, you know, you buy this book, you buy that book, you short short, you will get clear it, you know, something like that. But the best way to clear this examination is read NCRT books, read NCRT books and selected books, selected topics. You are not preparing for civil service, so it is very easy for you to segregate each chapter, which chapter from which book should be read, right? Now, after that geography, lakes, rivers or something like the mountains and they are, they are going to ask what is the name, which land is called as thousand lakes, something like that they are going to ask. So be prepared for these kind of questions. Next when it comes to the science part, one or two meters they are going to ask like which meter is used to measure the height or something like that. Okay friends, so this is for 
maths and gk if you have any doubt you can just comment in the comment section i'm happy to clear you clear your doubts and if you have any doubts regarding maths you can just post the question there you can just type it and i can solve it and give it back to you next come to reasoning part reasoning part is the most easiest and the scoring chapter here everyone those who want to score about 200 don't leave any reasoning questions you practice reasoning well at your home with my experience in teaching and mentoring the AFCAT and the CDS candidate, I have found that candidate, even though they hate maths, even though they don't know GK, they don't know English, they are very well at reasoning because reasoning does not require special training. It is all up to your mind how you are going to apply it for the questions. Take some reasoning book, it, can, it could be anything, need not be any particular book of some particular publication. Take any book, Venn diagram is important, dot situation is important. So that kind of questions you just focus, keep practicing and definitely you are going to get more marks. And keep in mind, there may be some bouncer questions in exam and it purposely, it is made in that way. The students are purposely made to fall in a trap to do some mistakes. In maths, if you see some chapters are there where they will frame a wrong questions or maybe something is wrong or maybe you will not get the answer. Though you are good in maths, what will happen? No, I have to score all the 15 questions correctly. You go one step ahead and click, uh, click that, but that is a wrong option. You get minus marks there. So whatever you are not sure of, don't attend it. And beginners, please keep in mind, don't take these things up as lightly. Attend whatever you know, prepare well, thoroughly, revise, and after that you go for exam. And whenever SSB comes, keep in mind, be serious, because uh, pressures have more better chance compared to repeaters. They want very young mind and strong and very brave persons compared to the repeaters, those who have already spent one or two years time, they may not have jobs. In SSB, the questions get a little tougher. Why don't you work? Why you are uh, spending only on exams? Something like that. Okay. So, pressures keep in mind, clearing exam and then SSB should be a goal. And what you should do from day one, when you are preparing from today or from at your home, take a picture of PPT during break time. When you get bored, Take a ability, write a story and present in front of the mirror. Present in front of the mirror like, okay, look into your eyes and just uh, focus into eyes slowly, steadily in English. Nicely you present it. Keep an alarm of two minutes or a timer of two minutes and then finish the story. After that, practice lecture aid, practice OIR, practice like a group planning exercise, something like that. Okay, so what we do here in Bangalore Defense Academy is Along with the written preparation, we have SSB preparation also and there is no extra charges for it because SSB does not require special training. It is just your personality and just you should know what you should do and what you should not do. That's it. So for that purpose, if you are spending so much money, see, there are a lot of cases like we have seen a candidate, he may not be like into that officer like quality, but what happens, they go and spend 15, uh, like uh, what we say. Uh, so many days they go and spend so many so much of money and after that they go to SSB and they are screened out They are not even in stage 2. They are screened out multiple times not one times or two times ten times They are screened out now from for this kind of candidate Please do keep in mind while written preparation only when you are with the group when you can perform with the group You can realize your personality after that you decide whether you are fit for this job or not don't waste time. You can, you are fit for some other job like railways, SSC, maybe IAS, IPS. So you better try for that instead of trying for SSBs and all and getting demotivated, you can try for that. Okay, so what you should do, focus on written part and side by side you prepare for this SSB also. Okay, side by side you uh, train for yourself for SSB also. So this is how the strategy should be. So friends, I am, Bang I am Arun Kumar from Bangalore Defense Academy. We will be surely making the next videos for you all. I hope you will you will enjoy this video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Jai Hind.